So it's been a while since I've done a boxing video and I've been very busy as of late. I just turned 18 recently on the 9th of this month and I've just been very busy and a lot of stuff has been going on. I've made a couple UFC videos, but I felt that instead of giving you guys a whole long rundown of why I haven't been active, might as well just make a boxing video for you guys right now. So there's a really, there's a couple really good fights coming up this Saturday, but I want to talk about Jerome Butsenis versus Royman Villa. Now I'm going to be using the face cam a lot more now since YouTube will not disable my comments anymore. This is a very fun fight, a fight that I thought they should have made right after, and they did, thankfully, when Villa defeated Rashidi Ellis and Boots fought right after him. I was like, this is the fight they have to make. This is the fight that anyone with logic would make, and I'm very glad that they are doing so. And in my prediction for this fight, how I see it playing out. Villa is going to try to pressure Jerron Ennis right off the gate. He's going to try to get him on the ropes, try to overwhelm him, and I don't see him being successful. I see Boots countering him, landing nice shots upstairs, going upstairs, downstairs, and landing combinations in a barrage of shots. And I see after a good few rounds of the fight where Villa will land some shots here and there, but he will get outworked for the most part from Ennis. Ennis will fight the better fight. I see Ennis eventually breaking him down, Landing some nice combinations and actually stopping Royman Villa in the 8th round. I'm picking Jerron Boutsenis to win this fight by an 8th round TKO victory. In a fight where he's up pretty clearly 69-64, maybe that type of scorecard. Villa might win a round or two, but overall it'll be Ennis' night. He will fight the better fight and he will eventually get Royman Villa out of there. This is a fun matchup. This is a good test for Jerron Ennis. Virgil Ortiz is definitely fighting the better fight this Saturday. He's definitely fighting the better opponent in Amentis Stanionis. However, this is still a solid fight for Ennis. I'm glad it's happening, and hopefully after this victory, he can move up and face better opposition in his weight class because these guys, I mean, Royman Villa is a nice test, but he needs to be facing the cream of the crop in this weight class. And to be fair, Welterweight's in a very weird spot right now where if you exclude Spence, Crawford, Ortiz, and Boots, the weight class is very shallow. I mean, I meant to stand the onus is fighting Virgil right now. Maybe have him take on a Keith Thurman, a Ratsa Butayev, a Cody Crowley. There's a few guys in there that he can take on eventually, but I'm picking him to get this victory by stoppage. I did not like how he looked against Karen in his last fight at all. I think that's by far the worst performance of his career, but I felt Karen was very awkward, very unorthodox. I think Villa will fight a much more traditional fight for someone like Ennis. It, he'll be much more comfortable in there, and I see him getting the stoppage victory. So, pretty easy call for me to make. Drawn Ennis, 8th round TKO victory. Could see it being a little earlier, could, could see it being a little later, but I don't really have too much to add for this fight. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy call for me to make, but I'm glad it's happening. This is an, the, the right step in the right direction for Drawn Boots Ennis, and he is moving himself much closer to eventually getting a title shot. But you guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I had not been as busy when it comes to uploading. I've not been uploading as much as I should have. I'm going to get back to it very soon, but just a quick little filler video for you guys. I'm going to make a quick Virgil Ortiz versus Danny Onis prediction either now or tomorrow. It really depends, but Ennis 8th round TKO is my final pick. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Whoever gets the closest to picking the fight will get their comment pinned for this video. Anyways, have a good one, guys. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.